Okay, today I'm going to be playtesting two Magic the Gathering decks. The first deck I'll be playtesting is the Shaman Rock deck that I built. It's basically centered around Recursion and Graveyard and coming into play abilities and about also this Planeswalker called Liliana of the Vest or Liliana of the Veil. And this deck that I'm playing against is uh, another deck I made, a multicolored rock deck, black, green, white, with efficient spells and creatures. So let's see who's going to win. So first we can roll to see who goes first. So I roll, and then he rolls, so he goes first. Okay, so I'm going to draw seven cards. And if I have at least... If I have at least um, two lands in it, I'm going to be keeping it. Okay, so some really seven cards. Full Grass Stronghold, Swamp, Cauldron of Souls, Fawn of Shaman, Tree Treetop Village, Fawn of Shaman. And then he draws seven. Okay, so his seven cards are Abrupt Decay, Eternal Witness, Friction Crusader, Moving Boss, Elspeth, Marsh Flats, and Windswept Heath. Okay, so let's play with that. So he goes first, he's going to put Moving Boss into play tapped. Then I go. Put down a treetop village tapped. He goes. Um, put down a marsh flats. Tap for Sensei to find top. Sacrifice Marsh Flats to get a Swamp or Plains. He's at 19. Let's get Goddess Shrine. Comes into play tapped. Okay, my turn. Let me play Swamp and Wall of Blossoms. Got to draw a card comes into play, and then his turn, play Windswept Heath, tap this for Mother Wounds, sacrifice Windswept Heath, get a forest or a plains, I'm going to search for Temple Garden, okay. And then tap one to uh, Divining Top. Look at the top three, put them back in any order. Put the... Yeah, let's do it like that. Dark and find the top. Okay, my turn. Play my Forest. Then I'm gonna play my Fauna Shaman. That's it. And his turn. Play a Dark Confident. And then uh, just to double check, I can make sure this is the land so I don't get hit next turn. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, my turn. To the swamp. And I'm going to use Sham Ferrim, Fauna Shaman's ability to. Um, Discard my Fauna Shaman. I search my deck for a creature card, any creature card I put in my hand. Right now, what do I need? Um, just gonna go for a. Go for Yav my Elder. Thing. I don't want to use my Demonic Tutor yet. I'm done. Okay, let's turn. He uh, reveals a card, take no, takes no damage, and then draws a card. Murmuring Boss comes in play tapped. Uh, dividing Top again. Okay, that's fine. And 
a black and a green to abrupt decay my fauna shaman. This is dead. And then attack me for two. So I'm at 18. Actually, um, I can block. So what you say. Doesn't need to attack, but he can gain protection from green attack me. It's probably not a good idea also, because he knows I had destruction spells. Okay, so it's not going to do anything. My turn. Down Volast Stronghold. I'm going to put, using Volast Stronghold, put Fauna Shaman on top of my deck. And I'm done. This turn. Yeah, it takes no damage and then draws a card. Temple Garden, close play tap, four mana for Elspeth. Elspeth is gonna use uh, plus one ability, it gets plus one, plus three, plus three in flying and attacking me. So I take five, I'm right, 15. Your turn. Okay, I have to kill that Elspeth. So I'm going to Demonic Tutor for a. Maelstrom Pulse. Demonic Tutor for Maelstrom Pulse. And I'm going to use it to destroy the Elspeth. Can't have that. It's dead. Okay, let's turn again. Reveals the card, takes 3 damage. Okay, Overgrown Tomb, place tapped. And I'm going to put out a actually he's gonna use an eternal witness to get back the Elspeth. Well maybe not yet. Probably doesn't need it yet. I'm just gonna put out black. Um, actually black, black taking one damage. This for Vampire Nighthawk. Actually, nah, don't not gonna take one damage. Night of Eloquary was a 4 4. Yep, that's good. Then Divine Top. Which is fine. Okay, my turn. I'm going to put out Fauna Shaman. Then I am going to put out Skin Render. I'm going to kill. Actually, I forgot he's the Mother Boons, so I can't do that. It's not going to work. So, da -da -da -da, I cannot do anything. Okay, I'm done. Okay, let's turn. Takes one damage. at so 14. I'm at 15. Uh, Birds of Paradise comes out. Um, Inquisition of Kozilic. See my hand. Discard the you have my Elder. It's the only thing you can do. And then he can use uh, you can put out the Eternal Witness to get back the Elspeth. And then he's got a 4 4 and 2 1 there. So he's going to attack with a 2 1 and a 4 4. I am going to block for the Shaman with Dark Combined and Wild Blossoms. So actually, he's going to get protection, so no. Okay, I'm just going to block with Wild Blossoms and take 2. Okay, my turn. I'm going to discard my. I'm going to discard my deranged hermit. I'm going to search for a. Um, I'm going to search for Solemn Simulacrum. Okay, Solemn Simulacrum comes out. And I get a forest. When he comes out, that's it. So his turn. Can uh, look at the top three, put it back in any order. 
Okay, so he takes no damage. Taps. Puts up Temple Garden. Plays the the Elspeth. And Elspeth makes the Night of Valkyrie get um, plus three plus three, so it's seven seven flying. Get attack with everyone, including the seven seven. <clears throat> so I take seven damage. Uh, what's that? Was that thirteen? Yeah. Okay, so I'm down to only six. And Solemn's gonna block the Dark Confident. You can cannot make a gain protection because it's colorless. If they both die, I take two again. So I'm only at four. The draw card from that. Okay, that's it. Probably gonna die. Draw card. And die from that stupid Elspeth. Okay, I'm gonna one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna profane command, killing that Night of Reliquary. Um actually it doesn't die because you can make it get protection. But I can get my deranged tournament to play, which gives me four four squirrel tokens. I don't think it matters because um, he's going to use this Elspeth next turn to kill me. So it's done. Good game. He's just going to use this Elspeth, um, gives this guy protection or flying, and then kill me. So that's it. Uh, Playtesting done. Um, I guess I can go for another round, but looks like this deck is one for this game. So uh, the multi to colored rock deck one. So let's play another game. Two out of three and see who wins. Usually uh, when I do play testing I do best two out of three. So let's see. Now let's do round two. Let's do round two. Okay, I roll 16, or 19, sorry. And he got four, so I'm gonna go first this time. Four, five, six, seven, I only have one land, so I'm gonna reshuffle. Usually I have to do two lands at least. get some land out of here. Okay, I got two lands. So, Wall Blossoms, Wilden Cemetery, Overgrown Battlement, Curry Nightmare, Living Death, Forest, and Fairy Shrine. I'm gonna put down a forest. And then he draws seven, actually eight. But he's got, okay, he's got two lands so he can do it. Um, he's gonna take three damage off the bat because we're in catacombs into Overgrown Tomb. Do Overgrown Tomb. And Overgrown Tomb comes into play and it's going to be tap for Boots of Paradise. So that comes up. Alright, my turn. Okay, Women's Cemetery, Wild Blossoms, draw a card. Let's 
got another overgrown tomb. Put a census to body top. Return. So I have no land. I'm going to put out a overgrown battle. End of his turn, he can do census to body top. Okay, so he can actually put the Godless Shrine to play tapped and tap 3 for the Kitchen Fix. So he's at 19. And my turn. Another one on Cemetery. Can add black or green, so I'm going to put out Liliana of the Veil. Can use her first ability. Uh, each player discards a card. Discard Bench Line. He's going to discard. Ooh. What can he discard here? He can discard a Vindicate. Actually, um, yeah. In his turn, uh, he's gonna use Abrupt Decay on my Liliana, so he's dead. And then he can, since he's dividing top, that and then attack for three, but I can just block. Okay, my turn. So I can put out another wild blossoms draw code. When it comes to play, put down a forest. Uh, overgrown battlement can add two green mana now. So two green for solemn similicum. I'm gonna get a swamp out of it. Okay, so it's his turn, and uh, puts out the Elspeth, um, Kitchen Finks gets plus three, plus three in flying, attacking for six. Okay, so I'm down at 14. My turn. I have another Wild Blossoms coming out, that's my third one, and I am going to, hmm. Uh, let's see what I can do. I can go to Recurring Nightmare. Sacrifice my Wall of Blossoms to return my Benchline to play. Return it to my hand. And as haste, hasty and attack for 4 against the Elspeth. So it's down to 1. Okay, his turn. Flesh Flats. Um, path to Exile, my Benchline. So it's out of the game, if I get a land out of it, get a swamp. He's gonna put down um, a Throne Last Troll, and then uh, plus two, plus three again, so attacking for another six. So I'm down to eight. My turn. I'm going to um, I'm going to Maelstrom Pulse this Elspeth instead. I'm going to uh, put out Recurring Nightmare again. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice my to sacrifice my Wall Blossoms to put my Wall Blossoms back to draw a card. Then I'm going to tap. Three mana, put out Farmer Shearman. And I am done. Okay, his turn. Uh, I've got this one actually has to be sacrificed. So he takes another two from that. This one for a Temple Guardian. So he's at uh, 16, I'm at 8. Uh, I forgot. Uh, let's see. Okay, so his turn. Draw a card. I lose your teeth. Um, sacrifice this. Taking. Maybe you will ask. And 
then scavenging ooze comes into play and scavenging ooze is going to remove the wall blossoms actually not yet probably not yet put two mana put on right into play and then attack with the sun and the creature fix it's going to block fun with wall blossoms and block the kitchen fix with wall blossoms Actually, I'm going to block um, the Finks with the Solemn Simulacrum. So he dies, I draw a card. And his guy dies, and he gains two life. Gets a Persist counter. Let's see, it's at 17. My turn. And I am going to um, I'm going to use Father Shaman to discard my Eternal Witness. Switch my deck for a Switch my deck for a... What do I need right now? Oh, just get another bench line. Put it in my hand. And then play, um... Living Death. So Living Death, um, each player basically switches the creature cards on the field for those in his graveyard. So. All these cards go into the graveyard and Eternal Witness, Soul Smilk, and Wall Blossoms, and Wall Blossoms comes into play. And then for him, um, nothing comes into play. <laughs> All these guys just die. And that's that. Yay, yeah, that's what this deck is all about. So I get a forest. Out of that, and then I get two cards, draw two cards, and I get one card back from the graveyard. So I'm gonna get um, Liliana back. And that's it. Yep, that's it. And then his turn. He's got no cards in his hand. Wow. So you play a scavenging ooze and um, basically remove my creatures from the graveyard, exile them. He gets 3 life, so he's at 20. And the scavenging ooze is a 5-5. Five five. Scavenging ooze is a 5-5. Five five. Okay, my turn. Oh, I probably had to discard, because I have too many. I'll discard with Kai Nightmare. Okay, my turn. I have my hollow. And uh, I need to kill that thing. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Liliana Veil comes out, gonna use her second ability, make him sacrifice that scavenging ooze. And then I'm going to put out my Venge Vine. Attack for six. So he's at 14. He's doing. Can we put out the Veil Query and then use it the top? Think of that. Neither Veil Query is a two, three. It's a five, five. Right turn. I'm going to use Liliana's plus one. Each player discards a card. He doesn't have any. I'm going to discard Genesis. And I'm going to play. My Vampiric Tutor for a. I'm gonna Vampiric Tutor for um, Profane Command. So I lose two life, I'm at six. I get a prof Profane Command. Top of my deck. And. Put out recurring nightmare, sacrifice my eternal witness, get back Genesis, then I'm gonna put back recurring nightmare, um, and actually, I'm not gonna put the recurring nightmare again. Okay, attacking the six again, he can block one of them with his uh. 
five five nine the reliquary. So he blocks. He should block the bench line. Dies. Okay, now I can play my recurring nightmare. Sacrifice this. Get my bench line back. Okay, in takes two. So he's at twelve. I'm at six. So his turn, um, he could vindicate my Liliana instead. My turn. But see, once I have that recurring nightmare, he can't really target it with the sorcery. He has to use an instant to kill it. But that's gonna be hard. I'm gonna profane command for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Profane command for seven, killing this, and he loses seven, so he's at five. Then I can kill him. So yeah, he's dead. So we're tied at one game a piece. So now we need a tiebreaker game. So this is the final playtesting match, I guess, since we won one game each. Final game. Okay. Um, all right. So let's roll again. I got nine. He got two. Okay. So I'm going first again. So I'm drawing seven. Only got one land. Shuffle again. Okay, four, five, six, seven. Too much land. Ah, goodness. This. Okay, let's see. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. That's fine. Um, so I guess I am going to put down Treetop Village. Let's turn. He's gonna put down, uh. Ooh, all of these are fetch lands. Okay, so sacrifice the marsh flats to get a godless shrine. And, uh, that's it. My turn. I'm gonna put down Sylvan Library. I draw. I may draw two extra cards during the draw phase, and then, um. Put down two of the cards back on top of my deck in any order, unless I pay four life each. Um, so basically, it sends these divining top, except I don't have to pay one mana each time. So, okay, let's turn uh, Wooden Catacomb, sack that, put down Mother Wounds, and then uh, sack that for uh, Overgrown Tomb. Mother, my turn. Uh, I use Sylvan Library. I can draw two extra cards. Um, what do I need right now? Okay, I'm gonna put. Uh, I'm gonna take the forest, put these two back, and then play my Yav my Elder. His turn. Windswept Teeth, sack it. For a Temple Garden tapped. Actually, don't tap it. Uh, come make into play untap, take two damage, and then play Kitchen Finks and gain back that life. So he's at 17. Right, now it's my turn. Draw two cards. Um, then I'm going to choose Overgrown Battlement. Let me play that. 
and that is all. So his turn is going to play uh, on Viper, attack me for two with the Kitchen Finx. I'm going to block with the Yav My Elder, and I get two lands out of it. I'm going to get two swamps, two basic lands. I'll put them in my hand. My turn. Draw two extra. Um, I'm going to keep the kitchen fix. Let's go on top. And I'm going to put down the. I'm going to do this. Overgrown battlement. Tap for two mana. Upon a shaman. Yep. Nice turn. So he can um, up up decay my Fauna Shaman instead. And then attack for two of these guys. I'm going to block the Kitchen Finks with the Overgrown Battlement, of course. And then I'm going to take one damage from that. So I'm at 19, and he draws a card from that. And play a Birds of Paradise. Okay, my turn. Three cards. Choose Wall of Blossoms. Uh, Wall of Blossoms comes out using Overgrown Battlement. Draw a card. I'll play Forest. Now this has 3 mana. I'm going to play a Eternal Witness getting back my Fauna Shaman. Play Fauna Shaman. Uh, yeah, play Fauna Shaman and then. Uh, Play Recurring Nightmare, sacrifice my Eternal Witness, get back my Yav My Elder, turn this to my hand. Okay, that's it. Nice turn. Still see mana, huh? Kitchen Finks comes out, he's at 19. <clears throat> and then you can tap with these two. Then I'm gonna block um, Wall of Blossoms with this. And you have my do this, and then make a game. He's gonna make a game of protection so he doesn't die. That's fine. My guy dies. If I get two land cards, I get a swamp and forest. Okay, my turn. Draw two cards. I'm gonna choose a uh, maelstrom pulse. My turn, I'm going to play the Maelstrom Pulse and destroy the Mother of Wounds. And then I'm going to play a uh, Recurring Nightmare, sacrifice my Wall Blossoms, and return my Eternal Witness, getting back the Maelstrom Pulse. And Fauna Shaman. Two mana upon a shaman discards kitchen fix. I'm gonna switch for a deranged tournament. And if I thrag tusk, I'm gonna get thrag tusk too later. Or spirit monger, so I'm gonna switch for one of those uh, once I put them in this deck. Okay. That is all. His turn. I can play. Um, yeah, he can play uh, his. Yeah, he can play his uh, Eternal Witness too, and get back the above decay. And um, can attack with these guys, two Kitchen Finks and an Alan Viper. I'm gonna block um, Overgrown Battlement, Kitchen Finks, uh, Eternal Witness with the. Uh, eternal with the Kitchen Finx. So, Eternal Witness dies, Kitchen Finx dies and comes back, gains 2 life, is that 21? I take 1 damage, I'm at 18, he draws a card. Yep, uh, now it's my turn again. 3 cards. I'm going to take the Liliana and put these two back. Liliana's coming out. And then 
I need another one of her, but she costs 40 bucks on eBay, so it's expensive. Um, now I'm going to play my Dwayne's Tournament. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Dwayne's Tournament comes out. I get f uh, 4 scores. Um, play my Swamp. Um, put down my Recurring Nightmare. Sacrifice Dwayne's Tournament. Get back my Eternal Witness, which brings back my. Um, which brings back my. I'll get back my Catch of Finks. Okay. And. Still four schools. Liliana is going to use his first, her first ability. Discard. I'm going to discard my first. He has to discard. Um, Something. I think he can discard his Thuran. Yep, now his turn. Okay, so now you can play Scavenging Ooze to try to hose me. And then attack with his two Kitchen Finks on my Tuna Witness. Okay, I'm gonna block my four squirrels with all four of those. So he dies. And she dies. That's it. My turn. Draw three cards. I'm gonna take the mimic fat. I'm gonna play. One, two, three, four, I'm gonna play the mimic fat. Uh, one mana floating for the kitchen things. I gain two life. I'm at 20. Um, then I'm going to play my Queen Nightmare, but he's gonna abrupt decay it as soon as I play it. Just fine. Um, because I'm going to uh, one mana, one mana short. Okay, I'm gonna make him sacrifice a creature. So you can sacrifice his kitchen finks, and he comes back and gains two life. So he's at twenty three. I'm at twenty. Let's turn. I'm gonna put out a dark confinement. And actually, he doesn't play card confinement because he can remove three cards from my graveyard. So he's at 26 and his um, scavenging ooze gets three counters. Then he can play uh, Mother Wounds with the birds. And attack me with the On Viper and the Kitchen Finks. So I'm going to block. Um, Turn a witness with Kitchen Finks, um, on Viper with Kitchen Finks. So, this dies. My Turn a witness is gonna die, but I'm gonna copy it on Mimic, Mimic Bat. And copy it on Mimic Bat. Uh, Kitchen Finks dies, but he comes back. I gain two lives, so I'm at 22, he's at 26. That's my turn. I draw three cards. Uh, I'm gonna take the Women's Cemetery. I'm gonna play it. Um, I'm gonna kill the scavenging ooze. It's my male strumples. He can't use his mother wounds yet. Um, and then Liliana of the Veil vale is gonna use a plus one. I don't have any cards, but he has to discard. You can discard um huh. you can discard his bit of blossom. Although uh, maybe you should keep the bit of blossom and discard the sword. Okay, so I'm gonna play my copy Eternal Witness and get back my Crane Nightmare. Actually, I'm gonna get back um, my Maelstrom Pulse. So, and then I'm gonna use it to kill the Mother Wounds. Uh, so, token copy of Eternal Witness comes out and then attack for two with Fauna Shaman, two with the uh, copy of Eternal Witness, so he's at 22. This dies. His turn. 
uh, you can pay one life with, and then uh, pay another two life and get a what you need and just another temple garden okay and then play a Dark Confident and a bit of Blossom. Okay. And my turn. My turn, draw three cards. Take the Recurring Nightmare. Play Recurring Nightmare. Sacrifice the Kitchen Sphinx. Actually, I don't have anything, so I can't do that. I can't play it. Um, copy the Eternal Witness, get back Maelstrom Pulse. Uh, I'm going to use the Maelstrom Pulse to kill his Bitter Blossom. And I'm going to attack with everything. I'm going to make him discard a card as well. So he has to discard uh, one of those cards in the Moon Crusader, let's say. Actually, maybe the Creek Will Leech. So I'm probably just going to destroy the Creek Will Leech. Okay, so, um... I think... He can kill the Fauna Shaman with the Almond Viper. And then he takes 4 damage. Or maybe... Should block with the Dark and Fident. No. Take 4 damage. So he's at 15. Um, doesn't lose any health, and then a uh, Friction Crusader, which is fine. But put out the Mirror Crusader because it's pro black and green. And that is it. You can attack me uh, with the Iron Viper. I'm just going to block with my Overgrown Battlement. My turn. No, I'll show you Jotsy cards. Um, take the Vampire Tutor. I'm gonna use Vampire Tutor. I'm at 20. Uh, I'm gonna search for Profane Command. Put it on top of my deck. Then I'm going to use. Uh, I'm gonna make Liliana. I'm going to play my Queen Nightmare. Liliana is going to make everyone discard a card, so let's discard that. Um, sacrifice my Kitchen Finx. Um, Queen Nightmare, and then um, Fauna Shaman comes back. I'm going to copy my Eternal Witness. Um, copy my Eternal Witness, get back my Maelstrom Pulse. And that's it. Okay, so his turn. He's gonna. <laughs> I think he's just gonna use Pernicious Deed um, and attack with everyone. I block. I want a Shaman with. Can't block Mirror Crusader, so take. I'm um, at 16, I take 4 from Double Strike. Um, Overgrown Battlement blocking on Viper, on the Shaman blocking Dark and Fire. And then I'll uh, pulse everything for three and under, right? So uh, everything dies from the everything dies from the pernicious deed. Okay, game restarted. My turn. Uh, I'm gonna play. Uh, I'm gonna play a profane command. One, two, three, four, five, six. Profan command up with six, so he's down nine. And I get my eternal witness back. Just gonna bring back my should I bring back. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um let's see. I forgot I can't bring her back because she was exiled with Mimic Vat. 
So um, I'm gonna bring back my Okay, catch and fix. So I'm at 18. He's at 9. His turn. Uh, he's got nothing, just land. My turn. You can see he's got no cards in his hand. My turn. I got two Maelstrom Pulse in my hand. Um, I'm just going to attack with three. So he's at six. His turn. He's got a Vampire Nighthawk. So I think I'm, I'm pretty much going to win this now. So I have two Maelstrom Pulse in my hand. I can take care of a lot of stuff with it. Uh, so Maelstrom Pulse, gonna kill the Vampire Nighthawk. Put out, I'm gonna make my Treetop Village a land, and then attack for six, so he's dead. And my Shaman Rock deck wins the series. So it looks like my Shaman Rock deck is the winner. The best two out of three, and that's it. I'm done playtesting, this is how I usually playtest my decks.